We're at the Canadian International Auto Show in Toronto, and this is the all-new Chevy Traverse, one of the big boys in the 3.0 SUV space. Yeah, in fact, it has best-in-class cargo space at 98 cubic feet. We're standing here with the RS model, which is actually the top trim for the Traverse. Also here is the brand new model, the Z or Z71. Now this RS is the sportiest version of the Traverse. It actually has a sportier suspension. You've got sportier grille. You've got black exterior accents, 22 inch wheels on this bad boy. This competes with other seven to eight passenger vehicles like the Volkswagen Atlas and the Toyota Grand Highlander. Yeah, it's a big one. And for people who want a lot of space on the inside, this is gonna deliver. Also, big changes under the hood. We've seen this trend in the auto industry for three row midsize SUVs going towards turbo four cylinders and getting rid of V6 engines. Chevrolet is no different. They have a large displacement four cylinder under the hood pumping out a lot of power. Yeah, it actually is the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission. It gets 328 horsepower and 326 pound feet of torque. In the US, there's front wheel drive and all wheel drive options, but in Canada, standard all wheel drive. I don't know if some will miss the V6, this actually has more horsepower and torque than the V6. And when you compare it to the gas models of the Atlas and the Grand Highlander, it has more power. Torque's where it's at. Mm -hmm. We have to wait until we get a chance to drive it. So don't just go on the numbers. Don't be spooked by the engine. It could all come together to be a really good driving experience. Now, when properly equipped, this Traverse can tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is similar to its competitors. Now, the new Z71 or Z71 model has an off-road capable twin clutch all-wheel drive system. Chevrolet has not released fuel economy numbers for this Traverse just yet. So the Z71 model has more than an inch increased ground clearance and increased track for added stability, handling and capability. It also has all-terrain tires on 18-inch wheels, a unique front fascia, aluminum skid plates and red tow hooks. It has suspension dampers in terrain mode plus hill descent control. The RS model is the sportiest model to choose from. It has the RS exterior and interior badging, a unique suspension for a sportier ride, black exterior accents on the grill and roof rails. Now the biggest changes to the Traverse comes to the interior. Take a look at this screen. A 17.7 inch diagonal screen. It's a touch screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has a standard 11 inch digital driver display. Both of these screens are actually standard. I like the interior accents, the red in this RS model. I think it looks really sharp. There's a nice high gloss patterned red here. I'm happy to see that it's not not high gloss piano black trim. There's red stitching throughout, red stitching on the inside of the steering wheel, and of course the RS badging on the interior and exterior. As I had mentioned, the cup holders are side by side here. You've got a wireless charger. And of course there's lots of knobs and buttons. You've got a volume knob. Not everything has to be done into the screen. Now there's plenty of storage in here. This is very deep, which you would expect from the Traverse. I mean, it is a seven to eight passenger vehicle. There's also storage here as well. What I don't like is all of the piano black that's in here at the center console. Uh, I would have liked to have seen something, maybe a matte finish. That's not the case. We've got piano black here. Of course, it's got a great panoramic sunroof to keep everything open and airy and bright. The Traverse has a column shifter bench seat or available captain's chairs, a new SmartSense liftgate that recognizes your presence and opens it up for you.
Overall, I think that the Traverse looks really good, and these are truly class-leading screens here. It looks very futuristic, very clean, yet modern. So this is why you get a Traverse. It's big, as Mandria mentioned. This has the captain's chairs. It's got the leather interior. Of course, the seats recline. What's interesting though, is there's no way to slide this fore and aft. So these seats are fixed. The good news is they got a lot of room to work with, but that really is quite surprising. So bench seat available, captain's chairs on this model. Now I'll show you the back seat. Now what's surprising is because this doesn't slide fore and aft, on this model anyway, it limits the amount of leg room. So this is one of the biggest in the class, but not having that ability to slide the seats forward is a bit of a head scratcher. Uh, not sure, we don't have the bench model here to see if that does in fact do that, but this is kind of limiting. So they're actually setting up here for a bare naked ladies concert here at the auto show. So we're here inside telling you what we know and what we don't know. Um, pricing has not been announced yet. It's going to be announced closer to the on sale date. And there's four trims in the U.S. and three in Canada and available Super Cruise on this model. Tell us what you think. Do you like the look of the new Traverse and the boxy design, that more truck like feel? Yeah, I like it. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a chance to drive it soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.